One of the more confusing aspects of the keepers in iron is the recover action. So I'm going to do a complete and very detailed example of how you're going to do the recover action. Let's start by just reading the text real quick. Recover. Take any number of relics of the same type as way stations there. Discard this card, meaning the card you use to take the action from your retinue. Discard this card and stop action if you rule fewer matching clearings than a taken relic's value. So let's see what that looks like in action. So right here, we have a clearing with two different way stations. We have a jewelry way station and a relic way station, and we have three relics. We have a one value tablet, a three value tablet, and a two value jewelry. It's a rabbit clearing, and what we'd like to do is recover as many of these as possible. So we have a rabbit card and a bird card in our retinue. Let's see what happens. First, we will declare that we're using this rabbit card in order to recover in this clearing. Typically, we like to start with the lowest numbered relics first, and then you'll see why in a moment. So you take this relic and you say, I'm recovering this using the rabbit card. You take it and it immediately just goes into your relic section of your board and you score the point, one. But note that it says, take any number of relics of the same type. So you can actually keep recovering using that same rabbit card, provided that you rule enough matching clearings. In this case, it's rabbit. Notice that the keepers in iron don't even rule the clearing where it's happening, where the recover is happening, and they don't even have a keeper warrior. The cats rule this clearing and all we have are way stations, but that's fine. You don't have to rule the clearing of recovery and you don't have to have warriors. Now notice that we do rule one rabbit clearing right here, the other two. So we don't rule three of them, but we rule one. And that was enough to recover this relic and continue the recovery action. So let's go the next number up. We see a relic worth two. And we are allowed to recover this if we wish, even though it's of a different type, because the type doesn't matter. As long as we have matching way stations, so the first one, we recovered a tablet, and in the same action, we can recover a jewelry. Now, if we were to take this jewelry, we would get two victory points, but because we only rule one rabbit clearing, that would force us to discard this rabbit card we used to take the recover action, and then we would not be able to recover this three relic with the same card. We would have to use a different card and a different recover action. Now, of course, the three is worth more points. However, the two jewelry relic does allow us to complete a column, which grants us the two victory point bonus. So we are going to take the two in this case. So we get one, two points plus the column bonus of two more victory points. And now because we only rule one rabbit clearing, and it's lower than this jewelry amount, we have to discard this rabbit card. Now we could, of course, choose to use this bird card to recover this relic, and of course we definitely don't rule three rabbit clearings, so even though we would get it and score three points, we would have to throw away a bird relic. Let's look at another example. We'll reset the tableau, and now in this example, the keepers in iron have soup kitchens crafted. What soup kitchens does is it means that all of your relics count twice for rule. All tokens of a faction count twice for rule. Of course, normally they don't uh, rule at all. Only buildings and warriors do. So in this case, we do rule this clearing. That's fantastic. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is more than enough to rule the clearing of the cats. So we would actually be able to take this one. Ooh, wait a second. If we take this one, that removes a token. And now we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, which ties us for rule in this clearing. That means now if we were to take another relic, at the instance of taking the relic, you would check for rule, and then once it's removed, the next relic that you recover, you have to recheck rule now that you've removed the soup kitchen's ruling token. All right, so you go one at a time. It really is an iterative loop that you go through several times if you're recovering multiple relics in the same action. 
So that's how it interacts with soup kitchens. Are you ready for something wild? What if the clearing where you're doing the recovery action is the lost city? Well, let's look at the wording very carefully. It says, discard this card and stop action if you rule fewer matching clearings. Not based on the card, it's based on the clearing. So if you were to say, use a rabbit card, you could do a recover action here and then say, well, I rule one, two, three clearings that match the suit of the clearing of recovery because the lost city makes the clearing of recovery completely wild. Therefore, as long as you rule any three clearings, you can get all of the relics. So I could use this rabbit card to take all three relics, knowing that I rule three, so I can take any number, and I could take whoop, all of them and score the big whoo, point burst, thanks to recovering at the Lost City. That is as much as I could get into detail about how the recover action works. If you have any further comments, drop it in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time.